Hi guys, it's Lizzie and welcome back to my channel. So I finally got to bake something sweet in my class. I've been wanting to do ice fingers and donuts for a few weeks now, but I finally got to do them today. We split the dough for me in half, so I did three ice fingers and three donuts. I'll insert some pictures of what they look like because I'm not going to be able to show you especially the ice fingers because they are very sticky, um, but I will insert the pictures now. I will however show you the donuts because the donuts we filled with jam and then spread melted butter over the top and coated it in cinnamon sugar and they are so good. I mean both of them are really good, the ice fingers are really good as well, I've tried one of each so that's what I'm going to be eating for the rest of the week. So this is one of the donuts you can see where I've injected it in jam and it's got the sugar over the top of it. If I just break it open, you can see there's some nice jam in there. So that is the jam that I obviously had to inject in my donuts, but they taste really good and the ice fingers do as well. So both the ice fingers and the donuts were baked in the oven, so they're not like fried and really really unhealthy for you like most donuts are. Obviously they're still not great because they're covered in sugar and they've got jam on it, but you know, they're not massively unhealthy. It's actually a really easy recipe. So it was the same dough I used for both. And it's like bread flour, yeast, melted butter, milk, egg, sugar, and a little bit of salt. And that's it. It's really simple. Um, so I'm definitely going to be making some of these at home. I need to get hold of some bread flour and yeast and I will just be baking to my heart's content because next week is actually my last week doing the baking course which kind of sad you know I can go back for the odd day if I want to they do like a theme day on a Monday so I just have to check if there's spaces and I can go back like whenever I want and like the course is free and everything so but yeah I am it's kind of bittersweet but I'm going to be doing my last week next week and it's going to be for catcher I've also been doing uni work, so I haven't done, I started the allergens course, I literally did like one of the sections of the allergen course, so I'm going to do that this afternoon. And then because my dad and stepmom are coming for a visit, which I said in my last video, then I'm going to have to do my uni work tomorrow and Friday, um, because I would usually do it at the weekend and I'm hoping to see them at the, I mean I'm sure I will see them at the weekend because they're coming on Friday. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing this afternoon. I'm just going to have another look at the allergen course and see what the next section is. So I've just been doing my uni work for the last hour and a half and I've been learning about social psychology, answering the questions, why do good people do bad things? And it's a lot of, basically it's a lot of group stuff, conforming, obedience, that kind of thing. So I made some notes. And my cold seems to have come back with a vengeance. So I'm going to have a rest now because I am tired. And I just feel like a bit gross. So I'm going to have a rest because this afternoon I'm going to be making some more sugar cookies and decorating them. So that's what I'm going to be doing this afternoon. So I've made my fruit shaped biscuits. They stuck together a little bit, so they're like a bit like misshapen and stuff, but I can probably fix it or work with it. So it's fine. So now I'm just going to wait for them to cool down before I can decorate them. I've got some leftover buttercream from the cakes I made the other day. I'm wondering if like I can water it down and use that because then I'm not wasting that buttercream and then I don't have to make any more icing. So I'm gonna try that and see if it works. 
So I've made my colours and I've gone for like pastel, so obviously yellow for the lemon and pineapple, pink for the melon and then green for like the rind around it and the leaves and stuff. I was trying to make black for like the pips for the watermelon and I just can't, I can't get it the right colour, it's just like green it's i don't know it's like aqua or something greeny blue um but i've run out of red so that's just gonna have to do i also don't think i need to add any like water or water it down or anything because just whipping up buttercream has kind of made it looser so hopefully this works mind I've gone for a different tactic technique whatever you want to call it so I piped on the outline and I was like no I don't like this because it's too thick so I got paintbrush and I brushed in all the icing I had so that it's going to be a background and then I'm going to use the paintbrush when all of the background is dry and I'm probably going to put it in the fridge to do that and then I'm gonna use the paintbrush for like the, I don't know what it's called, like the layers, the detail, like the crosses and the pineapple and the leaves and the pips for the watermelon, that kind of thing. But this is my new technique. So yeah, like you can see I've brushed around the icing and then like for, like I said, for the lemons, for the pineapple, I'm gonna do like crosses um, and like more detail and stuff, but this is what I'm going with right now and we're going to see if it works. Okay, I actually really like the pastel colours. I'm just going to put these in the fridge to set and then after I've had some dinner, I'm going to do the final details on them. So this is what they've turned out like right now. I am going to put them back in the fridge overnight just to see if they set properly, but I've tried to do like the pattern I just used the one that I was going to use as black because it basically looks like tree green for the stalks and the leaves. Um, I'm not entirely sure what happened with these melons. They look like they've got polka dots. I mean, I don't think it's a bad effort and you definitely can use buttercream. I'm just not sure if you should. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to put these in the fridge overnight and we'll see how they look in the morning. So this is the sugar cookies after they've been in the fridge overnight. They're now even like these bits are, they're not wet anymore. They've kind of set, so they look okay. I actually really like the effect of the leaf and the stalk of the pineapple. The only thing is getting the pips right, which I'll have to look at in the future. But all in all, I think they're a pretty good third attempt and first time I used buttercream. So it does work and it does set. So I'm just not sure if I should keep them in the fridge now or just put them in a container and see if they don't like go runny again. But I think, you know, they look okay. I'm quite pleased with them. Today I'm going to be 
Finishing off my uni work, I'm gonna do my cleaning, like my hoovering and stuff that I would usually do tomorrow. And I am going to have a singing lesson as usual this afternoon. So yeah, it's been a really busy week. I've literally not stopped all week. I've had tons of things to do to make, basically is to make sure I have time to spend with my dad and stepmom so I can have time to spend with them as much as I can when they're here next week. So it's definitely gonna be worth it. But yeah, that is the plan for today. The only things I'm gonna be doing next week that I would usually be doing anyway is volunteering in the library and my last baking class. So I hope you've all had a lovely weekend and I will see you guys next time. Bye.